Okay, what I want to do now is show the uh, some of the effect of uh, capacitance on the spark. Uh, what I've got here is the, uh, the spark gap, Jacob's letter spark gap, and I've put two uh, doorknob capacitors on there. These are uh, 400 picofarad, 30 kilovolts each capacitors, and they're not connected on the back, they're just facing away. So right now they're not actually in the circuit in any way. And uh, so we're, we've just got the, just have them mounted there. And then what I'm going to do uh, in a moment is I'm going to take this uh, NE2 here and just hang it from two screws that I have on the capacitors. So the NE2 will be making the circuit between the two capacitors. Uh, when we get to that point. And then I'll subtract one of the capacitors. So we're going to look at uh, no added capacitance, uh, 200 picofarads added capacitance, and 400 picofarads added capacitance. And we're going to look at the effect on the, on the spark. Okay? So, and we'll be operating at around um, 28 volts input or so, which is the most I can manage with my DC power supply and batteries here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. Okay, so that's uh, about 28 volts no load input, dropping down to about 26 volts under the load of the system. And no added capacitor. Okay. I'm going to turn it off for a moment, and I'm going to add the, well, first to make sure that it's discharged, and now I'm going to add the NE2 across the back, uh, making the circuit between those capacitors, whoops, I can do it without dropping everything. It's always something. Okay. Okay, so now I've got the any two making the circuit between those two capacitors in the back. So now we have uh, the two capacitors in series. Uh, so this is 200 picofarads added capacitance. Now, of course, you've seen the red glow of the neon. I'm going to move the camera over a little to the side here. Capacitance by subtracting a capacitor. Uh, I'm going to just put a jumper across this capacitor here, and that will take it out of the circuit. So then we'll only have the 400 picofarads of capacitance uh, from from the one capacitor. So we'll just bridge this with a jumper. 
All right, now we have 400 picofarads added capacitance. Maggie, better, better move. Maggie's walking around. Maggie, back. I don't want my dog anywhere near this. Okay, here we go. Cut gap uh, at the bottom is 13 millimeters, so we've got well over 30 kV happening there. And I'm going to turn it off now. Okay. And uh, we'll just go backwards now. I will uh, remove the jumper, so now we're adding, or rather, so. so we're adding a capacitor, so we're subtracting capacitance. Now we're back to uh, 200 picofarads across there. Now I'm going to remove the any 2 so we'll be back to no added capacitance now. I just got the any 2 dangling off of one of the leads. Okay, thank you for watching.